So then guys, right here, I have a desktop setup with everything being Apple, and it has cost me around $700 to do it. And today, I want to go over everything that we have here, and it's quite extraordinary what you can buy in 2024 with, say, a Mac Mini and all these different other Apple products that we're going to go over, and yet all of this is just going to cost us $700 to do so. So let's go over there what we've got right here. So, as you can see, we have here a cinema display, we've also got an Apple keyboard, and we've also got a Apple Magic Mouse, and of course we've also got a Mac Mini. Now, starting out with the most expensive item on the table, well, that is definitely, of course, the Mac Mini M4 that we've got right here. This is the base unit, so this is the 256 gigabyte storage unit, and then obviously it's got the standard M4 inside of it, but it's quite amazing that we have a device this small now, and yet so powerful in 2024. I've talked about this device in quite a few of my videos, and I know a lot of other reviewers have done so too, all praising the Mac Mini and especially the baseline version because buying this Mac Mini for 599 US dollars, you cannot really find, say, an equivalent kind of desktop out there to match the performance that you get at least in the CPU for this and also the form factor. What we've also got to remember is that this Mac Mini has its power supply inside of it. We don't have like a brick sort of externally to it or anything like that. And also it keeps itself really cool and it's also super quiet. And then on top of this, we've also got some high grade ports. We have on the rear, we have three Thunderbolt 4 ports and on the front we have USB free ports or USB 3.0 ports and then of course we also have HDMI and then of course we also have Ethernet and there's also lots of upgrades that you can get with this but generally speaking just for a basic desktop setup this is fantastic value this Mac Mini with the M4 and especially like the performance that we've seen from here like on a couple sort of benchmark sorts of tests and bits and pieces I'm not going to go over the full details about this because I've spoken about these before but for what you're getting it's absolutely incredible but what I want to do was I wanted to have a full Apple setup on my desk and I didn't really want to break the bank and that's exactly what I've done with all these other sort of devices that are on this table. So the biggest item that you can see on this table is this cinema display. Now this here is a quite an old display. I must admit that Apple started making this in 2008 I believe now. So you know we're almost coming up to say around about 16 years old with this but it's still great and very usable in 2024. Obviously it's not a retina display or anything like that but you know to be honest the pixels are quite sharp and everything and obviously what we've got here is it's a 24 LED inch display and then obviously there's like a FaceTime sort of camera up here and things like this. It wasn't even FaceTime back then. I think it was the iSight camera and then we also have some ports on the rear with a USB if we wanted to use them and connect them up if we wanted to by using kind of an external kind of like sort of an adapter. I haven't done that on the setup, but you could actually do that. Now, the crazy thing is, do you know how much that this monitor cost me? Well, if I did my maths here in translating UK pounds to US dollars, it cost me about $59 and about sort of 54 cents, I believe it was, for this. So let's just round that up to say $60 for this monitor. And I bought this on Facebook marketplace someone was chucking it out and there's a lot of these around still people are getting rid of these and it's still like it's a great display in 2024 so definitely do check out one of these if you do want to get it say with a basic sort of Mac mini um, these are great to run with this now one thing I would have to say is that you do have to get an adapter with that and I've got my adapter here plugged into the back and then obviously this is USB-C then to a display mini port here and you can buy these easily like on Amazon and they cost you around about sort of ten dollars or so so yeah you do need to actually get yourself one of them but they are absolutely fantastic and it powers this monitor really really well so that is fantastic now the next thing you might have been thinking about is what about sound now what i will say is that this adapter here display mini one doesn't actually operate the sound sadly the only way you can actually do that is to plug in the usb port that we have here if we get an adapter for that but if you don't have that and you don't want to do that use up another port on the back 
back of your um, sort of Mac Mini. The Mac Mini has its own speaker built in. Granted, it's not the best, but for a basic sort of setup, for some sort of basic kind of sound, this is great. And remember, if you've got AirPods or anything like this, or even say a 3.5 sort of jack sort of headphones you can just plug in. Well, the great thing is the Mac Mini is equipped for this. So this is what I'd recommend for your sort of setup here if you want to keep things really, really basic. But as much as this Mac Mini is flashy and new, something else that is flashy and new still, in my opinion, is the iPhone 16 Pro Max, like the one that I've got right here. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber now, near the end of December, in round about a month from now or so. It's gonna be before Christmas 2024, so before the 25th of December, and I'm gonna be giving away this iPhone 16 Pro Max, Desert Titanium, 256 gigabyte model to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway at this stage is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear that you're planning to get in 2024, even into 2025. Maybe you're gonna get yourself a new Mac Mini and do something similar to what I've done right here. Maybe you're gonna get yourself a new iPhone or maybe say a MacBook or maybe it's not gonna be Apple related too, like a PS5 Pro or something else. Let me know in the comments below. Now, the other thing that I just want to quickly say is that, like I said, I will be announcing who the winner is before Christmas time, but I'll be making a video around that time too, giving you more details about the giveaway, including, say, a form to fill in for the giveaway too around that time. So you won't want to miss out on that video because, like I said, the live stream dates could be announced and everything like that. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. And plus, you want to be a subscriber because giving this way to a subscriber. The only other thing I just want to quickly say is sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me too, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, your Instagram and things like this direct message. Please do ignore these people as best as you can see right here. Please do report them. So moving back then to this great setup that costs around about $700, what else have we got here? Well, we've actually got the Magic Keyboard and we've also got here a Magic Mouse, or maybe we can call it the Apple Keyboard. Now, what I will say is, if you may not have noticed already, these are definitely the older versions of this. In fact, if you just look at the keyboard here, we've actually still got the original eject button for when we used to have a disk drive. But the great thing is that this is still a solid bit of kit in 2024 and it works with the the latest Mac Mini via Bluetooth, completely wireless, what is fantastic. Now I managed to pick up this keyboard and the mouse together and I managed to get them on eBay for $27, well probably just over $27 if we did the maths correctly, and these are great to actually pick up. So you can see already here that with the adapter and then obviously the actual display that I bought on Facebook Marketplace and this keyboard and mouse and then with this Mac Mini 2, obviously we are round about $700 in total, what is absolutely incredible. Now this keyboard is great to use and obviously there's no sticky keys or anything like that, it's great to work on and it will be absolutely fine for you guys and the same here with the magic mouse the great thing i love about this magic mouse what makes it different to the current one is actually this one's not the usb-c version this is actually the first edition that actually took double a batteries inside of it and you can actually switch it off here and change the batteries whenever you want to do so or change them out you don't have to worry about not using your magic mouse and turning it upside down that you have to charge it what i think is great and it works exactly the same like any other magic mouse so again it's fully compatible with the latest Mac Mini that we have right here, and it's fantastic for this. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is that as much as the Mac Mini is great out there in its price value with all the performance and everything, you can still pick up some great Apple accessories to give you a full kind of Apple kind of system on your desktop, like what I've done right here, and it only costs about $100 more on top. And I think that is fantastic in 2024. And with that as well, guys, though, it's time to wrap up this video. So do you think you're going to set up your Mac Mini with something like this? Or maybe you have done so already? Let me know in the comments below. And also, like I said, if you have enjoyed watching this video, please also do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons and kind of like a sort of build that we've done like here today, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until again next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.